I'm sitting there with a severed head in my hand, talking to it, or looking at it, and I'm about to go crazy, literally. I'm about to go completely flywheel loose and just fall apart. I say, wow, this is insane. This is me back then, in 1972 and 73. Unable to live with the fact that I just stabbed to death and cut the throat of an innocent young woman. Innocent in the sense that she did not plan on that happening. She didn't do anything specifically for that to happen to her. Yet she was a very active participant in her own death. Why did you keep the heads? Why did you cut them off and why did you keep them? Something out of my childhood. Um, I could put it on an incident. I mean, my father chopping the heads off of our two pet chickens and my mother insisting that I eat them for dinner. Uh, <laughs> you know, we could say it was something that simple. I don't think it was. You said you were waiting on your mom. Does she work at the school? The administrative assistant. What's her name? I might know her. Hi, Mom. Clarnell Stage. Scuttering, honey. Under the new Laura's mm -hmm. Scuttering? Scuttering? I don't think I do. Sure. Sure. Hey, they taste like onion rings, too. And yours? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Your name? Oh, Ed. Edmund Kemper. Well, um, thanks for the ride, Ed. Oh, this, this one's my turn. The next one. Okay.
Thank you.